Good morning and welcome to the <laughs> How dare I vlog looking like this? Anyway, good morning and welcome to the 8th of April. Today's the day we are gonna start decorating this room. I'll just show you the wallpaper that I have chosen. This is it here. This is what we're going for. So it's a grey paper. But um, you'll see it better once it up. I think it's got a wee sparkle through it as well. Almost looks foil-like, if I remember correctly. But um, that's what we went for. So the next thing will be the carpet. But I'm going to I'm going to wait to see the wallpaper up, see what it looks like, and then decide on the carpet, and then get a carpet for the um, hallway as well. This room is quite wasteful when it comes to fitting carpet because it's quite a narrow room. It does, it is big enough for a double bed because when George, this used to be um, George's room, my son's, I keep looking at my hair. Um, shall I just put it down? I'll just stop looking at it. So, um, yeah, this used to be George's room, with, hence the red wallpaper and the black ceiling and all of that. And he used to have a double bed in this space here. Um, so it is big enough for a double bed, but I'm only going to put a single bed in it. I'm going to put the single bed that used to be in my um, filming room, in my which I use now as my filming room, um, which is now in the spare room, which used to be Luke's room. So I'm just going to move that in here just now, and that gets it out of um, Luke's room, or what used to be Luke's room. I don't even know if I'm making any sense this morning. Anyway, I'm going to go down. It's Monday and I'm going to get back into my routine. And the first thing on a Monday morning, I like to clean my fridge. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm ready for the gym as well. But um, still too early for the gym. Um, house full of dogs. We've got Boris. Look, there they are. Lulu, Lily, Boris. They've all been sliding on my carpet down there. So that's the decorator left. <laughs> I've been cleaning as per usual. Didn't make it to the gym this morning, but I'm gonna go tonight at six and do a 45 minute blaze class. So yeah, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take all these boxes down. I kind of, what I do on a weekly basis when I clean the room, I've cleaned all the room now, you know, and I like to take everything off the shelves and that's how I do my weekly clean and all of that and that takes forever. But anyway, that's how I do my weekly clean. But all these boxes, that one I just shoved up yes yesterday because I was getting my Palm Springs mini details. Anyway, what I do with these is I go in with this feather dust. So I stand on the stone, I kind of just get into all the nooks and crannies. Once every wee while I like to get everything down so I'm going to take all of this down just now dust off all the boxes properly and give it a good clean up there because it's kind of got a bit untidy as well but first of all let's go and see what um, the painter has done in mama's room so there we go this is how the walls were originally painted um, when George was younger and then he went to the black and red stage so yeah that's the ceiling now white obviously this is the first coat he's done so he stripped the wallpaper given the ceiling a coat the door the window seals all that radiator so yeah that's what's been done so far looks a lot brighter doesn't it the bathroom, by the way, is still not fixed. Look, the bathroom still looks like that. The plumber was supposed to come on Friday, so he didn't turn up Friday. So we phoned him up Saturday and he said he was on his way to um, Cyprus. No, he's not Greek. He's a Scottish plumber. <sighs> right, let's go and get those boxes down. I kind of make him some sort of progress. But um, just thought I'd show you this. That there is my um, GST box. That there is my boy box. And when they wrap up the classics, it's different. As you can see with the boy, it's got all the um, white tissue paper. And with the classics, 
it's always got the black tissue paper that was for my medium and this was for my jumbo I'll just open that up here we go as you can see this has, has some white as well it's always got the black tissue paper that must have been stuffing inside the bag but normally with the classics it's all the fan is all done in the black tissue paper as you can see with the boy it's all done with the white tissue paper look at this dog trying to get in look at her did she think she's missing something so yeah still got my prada box up there not got a lot although i've got a lot of gucci bags i never used to really get gucci boxes with my bags i've got the one there one which is that one there <sighs> Cut all these this is how i like to keep my receipts with the actual box so these because these were all slgs i kind of just thread the receipts through that i don't think we really get receipts like that nowadays because it's all emailed to us and it's just probably your um receipt from your credit card or debit card whatever you like to use but uh, now look now she's standing on my do box oh <sighs> lily i just you sit on the do box just you make yourself comfortable because there's no one else to sit but on the do box seriously man what is this dog like here we go, that's, we have the Kipo 55 box, my um, Never Full box because it comes flat packed, so does the Kipo. This is my original Pochette Matisse box, this is my cosmetics box, my um, PM cosmetics box, <laughs> this is the box, my leopard print scarf stole whatever you like to call it came in so it's in the same type of box that my cosmetic pouch came in so yeah that's that underneath there that's my palm springs mini box and that was the box that my pochette metis got sent back in after its second repair yeah second repair job done here we go till the next time hello and welcome to a sunny wednesday the 10th it's actually about um quarter to five so i'm just getting ready to go to the gym and do my third class of the day but before we leave i'm going to show you mama's room because the decorator has finished um, right, what did i do this morning i did a head class and a pump class and I'm now i'm going to go and do a step class Ooh. So here's Mama's room. Here we go. This is the wallpaper I went for. There we go. Now I have a white ceiling. There we go. So still to go and get a carpet. I'm going to go and pick a carpet this weekend. And there's her chair there. Look at this mug I picked up. Look. Home is where the gin is. I actually picked this up for my friend as part of her birthday, but I'm just going to give it to her because I'm that type of person. <laughs> I know, sad as I am. Just sometimes it's nice to get something just because. It's nice, isn't it? It's lovely. It's fine china. Did I give you an update on my Pichet Metis? I don't think I did. I just edited a vlog there and I mentioned that I was taking it into Louis Vuitton and I never really told you anything more about that. I think I'm probably going to do a video just on... on did I say the push at my Palm Springs Mini? Palm Springs Mini is what I'm talking about. So, yeah, I took it back and it's getting fixed free of charge. And I think he, I think the person I spoke to is actually one of the managers. But um, he said to me, you know, if you bump it, blah, 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 this can happen. It's funny because I've just been watching people on YouTube saying how the staff at Louis Vuitton are actually trained to... Um, blame us for whatever damage that happens to the bags come on it's the wee loop it's obviously worn oh, seriously anyway i better get to my step class better take my cup for my friend <laughs> and my water bottle i'm carrying my pochette metis that's why i keep talking about my pochette metis here they all are 
Do you think they're all waiting for something? They all like to get a wee treat. This is Boris. There's my bag that I'm using, my Pichet Metis. These are my new Fendi glasses, which I absolutely love. And I want to order the um, St. Laurent college bag or collage, whatever you call it, bag. I've seen it on Nitta Porta in ivory with that kind of antique type of silver and I want that bag because I have been looking for an ivory bag forever and um, you always see it when you really shouldn't be buying because I'm I've got so much things to do like in houses that I really shouldn't be buying anything but um, hey ho life's short isn't it friends come on back me up here I want the bag hello and welcome to Thursday the 11th of Boris. Shush! I have to get his ball. The 11th of April. I'm just getting ready to go to the gym for the second time. I'm going to go and do a 45 minute plays class. Let's go inside. And then that'll be me for today. But, Tim, do you know, I found my never full really annoying this morning because it is here as i was driving it kept falling off the seat and because the never falls open anything that i didn't have in the organizer which is there was falling out it was really annoying me so i don't know if it was the way i had it packed this morning if it was my driving but it is really annoying when you sit your bag next to you and it keeps falling off um but yeah that is really annoying about the never full so I'm back from my blaze class. After I finished my class, I want I needed some um, contact lens solution, and the one I like to use is the one I get from Asda. That's Boris. He's not going to shut up. And they all sense I have treats. I can't say the word because I go crazy in the bag. So I stopped at Asda to pick up my contact solution. And then this happened. Seriously. After Asda, I went to TK Maxx and I came out with these, which I absolutely love. And so they're from TK Maxx and of course they're very Valentino-like and they feel a lot more comfortable than the Valentino ones. These are seven. That's what it says on them. The make is seven. Got them in a size six, true to size and they were $12.99 bargain. So I got this colour and I love this colour because it goes with everything and it's to give my Chanel flats a wee rest because I've really worn them to bits. But really loved these on. I'll show you what it's like actually. I'll just take my trainer off and show you what the shoe's like on because I really liked them. <coughs> I'm going to have to find the treats that are in the bag. <coughs> there they are. Aren't they lovely? And they're a kind of suede material. Really, really like them. So I also saw these. I also saw these, which are also very Valentino like. Oh, I'm going to throw this dog out. So that's what these look like. Aren't they lovely? They saves me spending hundreds of pounds on the, the Valentino ones. I love them, really love them. So, picked them up from TK Maxx. I also picked up this candle from TK Maxx. This is an English candle, so this is for a gift. I picked up some wrapping paper to wrap up the gifts that I got. I also picked up some English tea, and I love the packaging of this. So this is also for a gift. That's my throne. My throne? My throne. <laughs> yeah, it's my throne. It's my phone. I just threw in there. And these I was nibbling on these because I came out the gym and yeah, I was literally grazing on these and most of the packet. It's just a sweet chili graze mix. It's a Thai style. So finish most of them. That was my lunch and dinner. That's, that's a lie, I had two bananas before the class. So Patricia, you asked me what I think of these um, vegan products and I've really been enjoying them because it gives me a taste of um, 
the real thing, sort of. For the likes of the sliced cheese, I really enjoyed it. I'll come to it, I'll show you it, but Rico doesn't like it. So I picked up some more yogurts and these are made from coconut milk and that's what makes them vegan. Picked up a card that's going to go with the parcel and I picked up some dry figs. I really like dry figs. So, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm really terrible when it comes to shopping. Honestly, I went for, um, this is my solution. This is Asda's own make and I really, really like this one. So, yeah, this is what I went in for and came out with all of that. So I picked up, I got these the other day again and I really enjoy them. These are vegan as well. Really, really enjoyed these. So I picked up a few of those. Right, here's the dog treats. Let me give them their treats so they can leave me alone. Lulu, she's the oldest, you get your treat first. There you go, is a good girl. And we get Lily. Ah, ah. Lily's a good girl. And Boris, good boy. Right, now they'll leave me alone. I'm still wearing one sandal and one trainer. Picked up some oat cakes, which are also vegan. These particular ones where you need to be careful because some have milk in them. Even if something says may contain milk, I don't buy it. I found biscuits that were also vegan. These are Asda's Oaty Crumbles. Yummy. Got some fruit. Tangerines. The dogs enjoy tangerines as well. More yogurts. I love them as like something sweet. These are the lemon ones. Vegan. Another ice solution. So here are the sliced cheeses. I really enjoyed these vegan sliced cheeses. Rico says the rubbery, but it does me because I really miss my cheese. So I think I'm gonna have a slice of this just now uh, on an oat cake, oat cake, oat biscuit. Oat cake, no they are, they're oat cakes. And um, I'm gonna have a glass of wine, I think. Some more of these. Trek original oat for protein flapjacks. Really liked the taste. There's another one. Some more vegan soft cheese. There we go. And some of my gin and tonic gummies that I enjoy. These are also vegan. Or at least they're vegetarian. There's no gelatine in these, so they're fine. And um, some more doggy treats. These are vegan as well this was reduced so i picked this up because it's nicer weather just now so this was reduced to about three pounds something the garnier body summer body moisturizing lotion sun kiss it gives you a bit of a tan whilst moisturizing some more nibbles these are banana and date and another gin and tonic that's my lot, but I'm really chuffed with my shoes, really love them. See the minute I say I'm not going to buy anything. Mm -mm -mm. That's not good, because I just want to buy. And it's always this time of year, kind of come April time. I don't know what it is. The Mediterranean style block really does taste like the Greek cheese. So that was really, really nice as well. Enjoyed that one. I'm not a fan of the garlic and herb soft cheese alternative really no don't like that this is okay but it doesn't taste like feta that's what it looks like but it's okay hello and welcome to the 12th it's friday thank f it's friday so what have I been up to today? Usual. Got to the gym today, which I don't normally do on a Friday because I normally have Georgie on a Friday, but it's the school holidays and her daddy's off because he's a teacher. So um, I went to the gym and I did a 45 minutes pump class and I did, oh, I've just seen one of my friends walk past. She's actually a neighbor and I've not seen her for a while. And I just wondered if she was all right. So she's fine. <laughs> I was going to call her back, but I'll finish talking to you first. I was going to go out and chat to her, but I'll talk to you first. Um, 
So, what was I saying yet? I did 45 minute pump class, and then I did a 45 minute um, blaze class. And last night, I got this parcel all wrapped up, ready to go to Australia. And then I started reading about prohibited, prohibited items that you can send to Australia. <sighs> kept me awake half the night, kept reading up on it, and it's this, that, and the other, and they'll vanish. So, I went to the post office today, and they said to me, no, that if, whether it says flammable or not on the packaging, because the ones I got were sealed, they were, you know, in that horrible packaging that takes forever to open up. I made sure they were in proper packaging, and blah, 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 but no, nail varnish is a no-no. You can send nail varnish within the UK, but not internationally. I have received nail varnish from both America and Australia and I kind of thought I'm just going to put it in. I was talking to the um, post office man, <laughs> what are they called? Um, and he says to me, look, look, things get scanned, they'll scan it, they'll see it and they'll just get rid of your whole parcel and I thought, do you know what? It's not worth it, it's not worth it. So. I took out the nail varnishes. There was two colours and a top coat. And um, I just added some um, other kind of, just wee novelty things in there instead. So, that's what I've been up to. Oh, so which meant I had to open up the whole parcel because I also forgot to put her card in there as well. I didn't want to stick it on the outside. So I had to open up the whole parcel. So. I've now wrapped it up and um, I'll address it and it should be ready to go tomorrow. It'll probably be a week before she gets it. But um, yeah, honest to goodness. Like, really? I mean, if it was so bad to send no vanish, why can you send it within the UK? See, doesn't make sense. We put a no vanish. Honestly, what's in a bottle of nail varnish? 15 mils, if that. Anyway. I'm thinking of doing a, I need to go and do a video today. Definitely. Hello, and welcome to Sunday the 14th of April. We are just getting ready to go out and um, going to go and try and choose a carpet for Mama's room. And um, yeah, so I thought I'd do a quick outfit for you. So I'm still in black. So here I have one of my mum's tops again. Again, it's a Mark Suspenses one. It's got a bit of a frill here. I don't know if it's focusing. And Jamie Jeans. I also have on my Valentino dupes, which I'm absolutely loving. There we are. There we are from TK Maxx. Just the usual on my wrist, Rolex and my Lynx. And on the other hand, Focus. There we go. Usual stack, my Elmer's bangle, tennis bracelet and Cartier. And just the usual engagement ring, still away getting fixed. And that's it. And on my neck I have my cross which is made up of, I don't know what they're called, but they're rectangular diamonds. My Tiffany by the Yard um, pendant. And this is just something I've had for years out of Primark. And then Dior earrings. But, oh, and these are my glasses that I bought in my last vlog. But yeah, that's, they're the glasses I got when I went to Harvey Nichols. And they are Fendi. And my, I'm trying to post on my Instagram just now. It's driving me crazy. It's not posting. So I don't know if it's my phone. I don't know if it's my internet. Or I don't know if it's Instagram. So it's annoying. But we're going to go and choose um, the carpet now. Or at least try and choose the carpet in my bag. Is my Pachette Metis today. Here we go. This has come back out since my um, Palm Springs Mini went in to have a little repair. So we're home and the lady in the carpet shop was nice enough to let us bring some pieces home just to see. So this is the sort of colour I was thinking of. So they're all pretty much similar. So that that kind of looks as if it's got grey undertones to it. So I think if 
Flowers is going for the same carpet in both the stairs and my mum's room. I would probably go for that one here because it's got grey undertones. If I was choosing just for the stairway, I for the stair in the upstairs hall, I would go for this one because it's more of a creamier and the curtains are more creamy there. Yeah, definitely. But any of these three would go. So, right. So, this one, if I'm choosing two separate carpets, definitely. I'm going to put them up in my mum's room, which is a very grey paper. So, there's a grey one that I picked up. And I was pretty much sure in the shop that that grey one would go with the wallpaper. But actually, I don't think it does. It's too solid looking for the paper. Although looking at it on the camera, it looks okay. Okay, Rico's insisting I try this wine. This is Gavi de Gavi. Mmm. Very nice. So Rico, tell us a little about the wine I just tasted. Well, you did say it was Gavi de Gavi, which is an Italian wine, a dry white, made from the Cortese grape, which from the Gavi de Gavi region, it gets a domain de origin, controllato, I don't know what the whole name, DOCG. Um, it's very citrusy, the first flavouring of it is very citrusy, but it gives you that waxy finish at the end. Rather nice, I would say. Cheers. And this is what it looks like. <laughs>